everyone, Miss Megan here. So if you remember, last week we left you on a bit of a cliffhanger, right? So Moses had uh, been talking to a burning bush. He was talking to God through the burning bush. And God was telling him that he had a mission for Moses. And it was Moses' job to go back to Egypt and to petition or ask Pharaoh that he let his people go, Moses' people, the Israelites. If you remember, the Israelites were being held in Egypt as slaves. And it was a terrible life for them. And God was ready to set them free. So Moses, we were wondering, is he going to do what God asked? And in fact, he did. He went back to Egypt and he went to the Pharaoh. And he asked for the Pharaoh to let his people go. And the Pharaoh said no. Well, God had a plan for that. And I have an illustration for that for you today. If you want to imagine our cup is the Pharaoh. All right. And it's his desire to say no, right? He wants to stay empty, all right? He wants to have no feelings about this and just say no. Well, God had other plans. So every time that the Pharaoh told Moses no, God sent a plague to Egypt. A plague is something really nasty, something horrible that happens, okay? So every time the Pharaoh said no, God sent one of these plagues. We had water turning to blood. I'm going to put in some some red Swedish fish for that one. We had frogs attack. Can you imagine frogs all of a sudden being everywhere and you couldn't escape them? And some green jelly beans for our frogs. God sent lice to the land and oh, we know that lice is not fun, right? When you snow caps for our lice there. And as you can see, Pharaoh is starting to feel affected, right? He's not so empty anymore. But he keeps saying no. Next, God sent flies. Can you imagine? We have one or two flies every so often, but what if there are flies everywhere, constantly buzzing around your head? You couldn't get anything done. Then, God sent diseased livestock. So do you know what that means? It means like all of their cows and horses, any of their farm animals got sick. So they couldn't be eaten. Nothing could be done with them. So I'm using frosted animal crackers, right, for our diseased livestock. So our diseased livestock have come. And oh my goodness, Egypt is not doing well. But Pharaoh is still saying no. Well, God decided to send boils. Oh, boils. They're kind of like terrible little things on your skin, right? They're kind of bumpy, like this candy we have here, right? Oh, boils were everywhere. Pharaoh is not staying as empty as he wanted, is he? He is not, but he's still saying no. So Moses was still asking. Pharaoh was still saying no. So God said, I got to do something else. So he sent out of the sky came hail, which we kind of, we, we know about hail, right? That happens sometimes. And fire. Can you imagine if fire was suddenly falling from the sky? Oh my goodness, that'd be terrible. Then came locusts. Locusts are like really big, nasty grasshoppers. Well, our cup is almost overflowing. But do you know the Pharaoh still said, no, I will not let the Israelites go. Well, God decided to send darkness to come next. And this wasn't like my room's dark at night kind of darkness. This darkness was so powerful that it was knocking monuments and buildings down to the ground. It was that oppressive. It pushed down on everything. Overflowing a little bit, but still the Pharaoh said no. Finally, finally, God said something. I got to get really serious. And he sent death. All of Egypt's firstborn sons, the children, died. That overflowed our Pharaoh. After that, he said, take them. The Israelites are free. So in the end, an amazing thing happened. God's plan worked and Moses' people were sent free, set free. But at the same time, some horrible things had to happen. 
because one man's stubbornness to see God's great plan. So as you go into this next week, uh, it is Mother's Day this Sunday, so I'm kind of challenging you to put your own stubbornness away to be sure to honor your mom and dad and um, any adult in your life at this time. Be sure that you are being great listeners, um, even when you're in close quarters together. I know that sometimes we get a little frustrated, a little um, uh, what's the word? impatient with each other, so I just uh, be patient, love one another, and uh, continue to listen to what God has in store for you. Have a great week, and we'll see you next week. Bye!